hello friends welcome back again to my YouTube channel so friends in today's video i'm gonna show you how we can trade using binance okay so in today's video we shall be buying usdt and at the same time after buying we shall sell those usdt's to get money into our bank account okay so my friends what i want you to do is that i want you to follow uh, all of the steps which i'm going to be showing you here okay and make sure that uh, you don't miss out any of these steps okay so guys to start uh, i will just come and click here on this binance okay the next thing that we have to do is that we have to come and click here on this trade okay you have to remember that for now we are going to buy usdt's okay so after clicking here on this trade we shall be taken to this page okay and we shall come and click here on this p2p okay so click here on this p2p and reaching here what you can see you can see that all of these are the sellers okay so all of these are the sellers who are selling their usdt's okay and here also you can see that there are uh, the cryptos okay here there are the cryptos which are being sold okay so it means you can change either this usdt this btc busd bnb ethereum whichever you might be want to uh, buy you can uh, change and you can buy that one okay uh, so guys because we are going to buy this usdt's it means let us go uh, with this one okay and the next thing that i want you to know uh this is the price per usdt okay it means this seller here is selling his usdt at this value okay and this one's also it's like this and this one here it's like that okay and guys uh from top to down okay what you see you can see that the price okay the cost of this one usdt it is increasing so it means we have to go for the uh, cheaper price or for the lower price okay and and most of the times i can even tell like every time uh, the first seller there it is the one with lower price okay uh, but as you can see now this seller here it is showing restricted so it means this seller is already uh, dealing with another buyer okay so it means we have to go for the second buyer here okay so it means we have to go for the second seller here okay so now what we have to do is that we have to come and click here on this buy and one more thing that i want you to know is that here you, you will get to see uh, like the amount of uh, cryptos or the amount of assets that each buyer or each seller is having okay you will get to see that uh, this one here he was having the crypto amount which is uh, this one and the limit it is this one so it means you cannot go below this or above this okay and this second uh, seller here you will get to see that uh, these are the amount of cryptos that he have okay and this is the limit okay so it means he's having less usdt's okay but it's fine let us go uh, for this second one okay and one more thing also it is that here are the payment methods uh, that um, we have to pay him to okay and also you can see for this first seller here this is the payment method all of these are the payment method which have been set by these sellers okay so let us refresh to see if there is any changes uh, regarding these prices because uh, as time goes uh, changes happens okay so let us do refresh to see if we can get to see uh, any seller who has set the lower price okay uh, let us check this second seller here you can see that this second seller here uh, his assets are too high okay so we cannot go for this one let us come and click here on this filter okay to add the amount that we want okay let us add 300 rupees okay 
uh, okay as you can see we are being shown the sellers who have this amount limit okay let us go for these ones as the others are restricted okay so we shall come and click here on this buy okay and here we shall come and click here on this crypto okay for example to add the number of cryptos that we want okay for example if you want like a 10 uh, usdt it means we shall pay this guy this amount okay uh, but if you don't want to write this usdt you can just click here by fiat and add the amount that you want to pay 300 rupees so it means we shall get this 3.39 usdt is okay then after here what we have to do is that we have to come and click here buy with a zero fee okay so once you reach here what you have to check first is that you have to come and click here okay to check if the seller has texted you and you can see that here he has put this message okay uh, i'm online bro this is uh, his number okay you can call him okay what you have to do it's better to text him and tell him that you are going to pay okay so to pay or to make this payment what you have to do is that you have to come and click here on make payment okay and you have to mind these timings here because if these timings is over it means the order is being is going to be cancelled okay so we shall come and click here on this make payment here we shall choose um which payment method we want to pay uh, him okay so let us click here on this phone pay and you, you will get to see that all these are his names and this is like his phone pay payment method okay what you have to do now is that you have to come and copy this phone number here okay and then go to your phone pay okay so once you reach to your phone pay what you have to do is that you have to come and click here pay to mobile okay then add intermobile okay it's this one which i copied okay and you can see that this is the one okay so it means i have to come and tap on this guy then also add payment okay 300 okay then pay as you can see payment of 300 rupees uh, to this guy is successful so after here what you have to do is that you have to go back to your binance okay uh, reaching here what you have to do is that you have to come and click here on transferred notify seller okay you have to make sure that you you click this after paying the seller okay okay now the next step is going to be done by the seller as you can see releasing okay so we have to wait until the seller has released the amount okay and the good thing with this seller is that he has put his number here okay it means like if he takes much time to pay or if he's delaying you can call him okay so now we have to wait until he releases this amount these assets okay so friends as you can see here we are getting the message okay it means this guy is texting us okay you see it is showing that he's going to pay he's saying yes okay then let us wait maybe he's going to release these assets to our binance okay so let us wait as he's taking much time to release the amount it's better to tell him to remind him that he has to release okay you have to inform him and tell him that you have already paid okay he's still asking for the screenshot it's better to show him that you have paid okay let me take this screenshot okay then send it to this guy so now friends as you can see the guy has released the, the usdts okay so now what we have to do is that we have to come and click here on this check wallet okay as you can see it is done okay so let us click here on check wallet okay and as you can see now it is uh 3.5 uh, usdt is okay and you can see that even our balance has increased a bit okay so guys this is how we trade here in binance this is how we buy usdt this is how we buy cryptos from this binance okay 
so now friends what we are going to do now is that we are going to sell this usdt okay selling means we have to sell them to the buyers okay and get money to our bank account okay so now what we have to do is that we have to sell these usdt's okay so but before selling this you have to make sure that you have added your payment methods in this binance okay because the buyers have to send you the money okay so that money you have to receive them in bank account or in upi yeah so it means you have to set some payment methods here okay so to set those payment methods what you have to do is that you have to come and click here on this home okay click home and then come and click here okay then come and click here on payment methods again click here on these payment methods okay these ones that you see here these are my payment methods okay but you have to come and add your payment methods here you have to come and click here as you can see all of these are payment methods which are available here on this binance okay so it means you can choose this uh pay tm you can go with any payment methods that you want okay okay this is pay tm you can add uh google pay okay you can add bank transfer bank transfer methods okay you can add also uh for example upid methods upi methods here what you have to do is that you have to add these payment methods after adding these payment methods for each payment method they will be asking you to confirm okay so it means they will be sending you sms verification code also you will have to verify email okay so they will send email verification code to your registered email here okay so once you are done with your payment methods what you have to do is that you have to come back okay uh, to this wallet okay then click here on this trade uh then again click here on this p2p okay here we shall click here on this cell okay and as you can see it is this usdt which is selected already and what we have to do now because we are going to sell uh just this few assets we have to filter okay to get the buyers who have set the limit which are in our range okay so we shall add three usdt in indian rupees it's almost like 200 rupees okay so let us add like 200 rupees okay confirm then uh we shall come and click here on this set okay it means this is the first buyer okay and he is the one who has set the good price the good cost okay and you can see that this is a little higher than this okay so it means we have to go for the first one always okay click this cell okay here we have to add the cryptos that we have to sell okay let us click here on all 3.58 okay the next thing that we have to do is that we have to click here on select the payment method okay so i have to choose this bank transfer this one okay i will just come and click here and the amount which i'm going to receive to my bank account it is 313 indian rupees okay this one here okay so what i have to do is that i have to click here on sell with a zero fee okay again we have to come and check here okay here you can get to chat with your buyer and you can see that here he is telling my name in bank account is this one you will release immediately after payment is successful and he has also put his number here okay uh, he's telling us one minute please okay okay here it means we have to reply him then it means this guy is going to pay uh those 300 something rupees to our bank account then after receiving that amount what we have to do is that we shall confirm that we have received this amount also we shall release this uh, 3.58 usdt's to this guy okay so 
after that the deal will be done okay so let us hang on let us wait until this guy has paid us to our bank account so friends as you can see we are receiving some messages okay we are receiving some messages telling that the guy has paid okay and also you can see that he is even telling us that he has paid okay so also what we have to do is that we have to tell him uh, just like okay then what we have to do is that we have to release this amount okay this 3.58 usdt is okay so we have to come back okay and then click here on this payment received okay and then click here i have received the correct amount okay then click confirm here you will just click send code for verification okay so this is the code I shall copy this code then paste it here then click submit as you can see done okay successfully sold 3.58 us it is okay so this is how we trade in this binance my friends and i really hope that everyone has understood well how to trade in this binance so my friends that's all that's all for today i hope that everyone has gotten new ideas has gotten the ways in which he can trade in this binance so Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.